Hi, let's take a look at how to prepare your document in KeyShape for Lodi Ready Animation or SVG Animation. To begin, we are going to download an illustration from onDraw.co. Let's download this celebrating illustration. I'm going to click download and go to the download folder. I'm going to open KeyShape and drag the illustration I just downloaded onto the canvas and that opens the illustration here inside KeyShape. If we go to the inspector, you can see all the individual layers. Those vector layers are the path. There are also rectangles and circles. In order to animate each of the layers, they should have their own name. For example, those layers named path, you cannot animate any of them in key shape. To animate a layer, it needs to have its own name. In this project, we are going to animate the flower and the flag. So we have to look through the layer list and find the flag as well as the flowers and give each of them a unique name. With the flower selected, let's rename this to flower left. Let's select the one on the right and name that flower right. Let's select both flowers and press command G to group and rename the group to flower and move that onto the top to make sure we've selected the right layer we can turn it on and off so this is the inner flag That is the outline of the flag. Let's move this close together and select both. I'm going to press Command G to group and rename the group to flag and move the whole layer to the top of the layer list. In order to animate the flower or the flag, move the anchor point to the required position you want. Let's go to the tools and select the anchor point tool. By selecting the individual ones, we can also find the anchor point. You can see the anchor point is positioned outside the layer. We can drag it in key shape and position it anywhere we want. Let's position it at the bottom and select the flower right and do the same. I'm going to grab the anchor point and position it at the bottom. Since we are going to rotate both flowers left and right from the bottom, that is why I moved the anchor point to the bottom of the layers. Let's select the flag as well. You can see for the group, the anchor point is positioned at the center. If I toggle down and select each one of them, we can drag the anchor point from where it is positioned to any position we want. For the flag, I'm going to create a morphing animation, so positioning the anchor point is not important. But if you want to position it anywhere, you can just drag and move it. If we select the inner part also, we can drag the anchor point from where it is positioned to anywhere we want, like that. So not that all the animatable layers have their own name. We can now start and create each of the animation we want to create and export as Lodi file or export as SVG animation. I've already created this animation, but if you want to create it from scratch, you can use the timeline here inside Kishin in order to create the animation. And since I have already created the Lodi file for this file, particular file, we can 
go to the browser and go to lotifiles.com. Here you can find the file we just prepared in Keyshare and this is the animation I created by renaming the layers. You can create this animation you see from Lotifiles in no time. Thanks for watching.